My name is Megan O'Connell and I'm an adjunct here at Unity College. I teach all sorts of plant biology and plant ecology courses. Uh, because I got my PhD in plant biology at the University of Texas at Austin. I'm currently working as the lead conservation research botanist at the Botanical Research Institute of Texas, where we are prioritizing working on prairie conservation. Prairies are an incredibly dwindling habitat here in North and Central Texas. There's very little intact native prairie that remains due to high rates of urbanization, development, agricultural production like ranching. So we have a lot of work to do in regards to bringing back this incredibly important native habitat. Central Texas is a very important uh, migratory flyway for all sorts of birds and pollinators like monarchs of course. So prairies serve a really important ecological function but they seem to be some of the least protected habitat here. Doing conservation in Texas is slightly different than in a lot of states because um, Texas is largely composed of privately owned land. Texas is about 97% private land at this point and to do conservation here you almost have to do equal parts um, interpersonal work, human relations, as you do actual science work. So a lot of my job involves communicating with landowners, ranchers, farmers, developers to try to improve their practices so that we can restore native prairie. Right now we're working on a project where we are collaborating with ranchers to use new field-based technology to measure the phenology of different prairie plant species. So in the case of this specific project, getting rancher buy-in, getting their collaboration, and producing information that's useful to them is just as important as it is to produce useful information for conservationists who work in prairies around here. Um, conservation is a community effort. We have to get as many people excited and invested in these native ecosystems as we can. And so I think this project we're working on is really going to bring um, some light to how we can practice agriculture in ways that actually can benefit native ecosystems.